All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the lower controller, which is for the rear wheels on this uh, XDC600 SMLRO bicycle, electric bike. Um, this was having an issues where the throttle was not working and, um, and it would just try to take off on its own. That controller I'm holding in my hand there is the one with extra wires and that's the one that goes for the lower controller because that has the uplink to the display etc so the first thing to do is to turn off the power to the battery remove the battery then with the phillips screwdriver remove the four screws There we go, it just kind of fell down there. Then from here, there's multiple ways to do it. You can remove each connection from the old controller and plug it in one by one into the new controller, or you can remove them all and plug them into the new controller. In this case, all of the plugs are different and the color for the wires, for the three wires that go to the motor, are all they line up with the colors on the controller. So you really can't get it wrong here. Um, so in my case, I just remove and disconnect everything. That tape is around the battery connection. Um, essentially, there's a connection from the battery down to this connection, which splits it out. And there's a link that goes back up to the upper controller. That's the uplink cable. So here's the new controller. If you look closely on the plug, there's, once I get out of the way, um, there's an arrow pointing how to line it up with the other cable so you can't get it wrong as long as you line it up properly. And from here, I, I connect the battery next because I want to get the tape around it first um, which is easier to do without all the other wires in the way So there are two plugs that are left unused. I'm not exactly sure what they go to, so I don't want to speculate. At first, I put the controller in the, in the box uh, in the wrong direction. Kind of just bundle the wires in there the best you can. Try to make sure that the wires don't get in the way and get um, pinched by the cover or the screws. I start by getting the bottom screws in first just to kind of help hold it into place um, and then I work from there. From here and putting the battery back on and I lock the battery from here I verify that the bike is working that it doesn't just try to take off on its own when it's turned on uh, which is what it was doing before From here, I test the throttle. Uh, now it is working where before it didn't do anything besides trying to lunge forward on its own. At this point, it's time to test the bike. I had left it in the on position the entire time um, and it never once tried to take off on its own like it was doing before.